One Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we got another unboxing and review video for you. As you can tell by the title, you know what it is. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so we have another product review here. This is um, from the company Saker BM, S-A-K-E-R, yes, S-A-K-E-R-B-M. Um, so Saker BM. Now, the, the last review we did from them uh, was not that long ago, it was very recent, and it was a, uh, a grease gun nozzle, a grease gun fitting which by the way is still working great um, but that one that one came out of Florida this one come came out of uh, Las Vegas Nevada now we're going I'll, I'll have the link for this product and their um, website in the description below if you're interested so let's go ahead and open this up reached out to me asked me if I wanted to review this and I said well absolutely now I have buffers and polishers I I don't have one that is cordless this one is cordless so let's move this box out of the way oh I think I hit you guys in the head I'm sorry okay so packing slip this is who it's from right here. Saker. S-A-K-E-R. Looks like it's got an eagle on it. There's some pictures here. Um, some more. I know I'm getting a lot of glare from the lights. Okay. Alright, so now, nothing on here, just a, We're going to go ahead, go ahead and open this up. You know, until they reached out to me, I, I've never, I don't believe I've heard of them. But, so far... With the grease gun nozzle, uh, I was pretty impressed with that. Very impressed with it. Still impressed with it. Like I said, the longevity of these things, I'll have to let you know at a later date how they're doing. But so far, the, um, the grease gun nozzle is it, it's working fine. It's working as it's intended. It's amazing. It really helps out a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to, I'll show you this again. Cordless buffer. Alright. Quality cordless, let me read this to you here real quick. Um, quality cordless polisher, well made. I believe this. I think it's four inch. Anyway. Well made. The motor is made of copper. It is anti-jamming and has low noise. DC 12 volt, 2000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery equipped with a large capacity battery to provide longer battery life for your work. Easy installation. Uh, the handle installs quickly and the cordless polisher is lightweight making it easy to carry and store anywhere in the car that, uh, it is it is very light this is what the product contains also six gears the speed can be adjusted from one to six levels ideal for waxes sealants and glazes wireless rechargeable we've already mentioned that but uh, 
no cable restrictions, works anywhere, easy to carry and store, suitable for beginners to work on all raised surfaces. Alright, now let's open this up. You guys get to see it before me. Huh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Alright. We got our little carry bag here. Let's go ahead and open that up. But yeah, I, I I I don't believe I've ever heard of this company until they reached out to me. And you guys know me. I'm a gearhead. I'm a gadget guy. I love gadgets, tools, especially especially tools. I love doing these reviews. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what this is? It's it's a vest, like an apron. I know you can't see that. Wow. Okay. I've never bought one of these that had an apron before. Okay, so let's go ahead and fold this back up. Alright. And it's got a little a little pocket on the front. You can put your things in and have handy for you. Okay. We have our little instruction manual. Oh, okay, so you can sand with it as well. So I am guessing that you can get different, you can buy other, you know, replenish these. It's got one of these buffers. That's for like buffing cars and bumpers and whatnot. Okay, and we've got a couple of these things. There's the battery. I'm sure, you know, it's going to want us to charge this first, which, <coughs> excuse me, is what we're going to do. And here's the charger. So, all right. Now, let's move this out of the way. Get this out of the baggie here. That is very light. I mean, there, there's a little bit of gravity to it, but it's not, uh, you know, it is light. So, all right. Here's our battery. Let's see, where does this go? Like this. And right here on the side is the speeds very nice this uh, it sounds smooth it is very 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 quiet so I do see a blinking light there so that's probably telling me that we need to charge it which which of course we're going to do okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the instructions out I'm gonna read up a little bit on it so I know how to, how long to charge it I'll be back with you guys in just a second okay so I read this up charging time is about four hours it doesn't give an estimate of how long the tool will last of course pull that out you just squeeze these two tabs and pull it out um, you know, it depends on how long you're going to run it and how much you're running it. You know, it could it, it could last you all day if you're just doing polishing here, there, and whatnot. But if you're just, if you're going to do a whole car, I don't know how long that will last. Um, but I like this because I do some um, restoration videos. I don't have a lot up. Uh, I... I have a lot more to do when uh, once I get my uh, glass cabinet set up okay so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug this in that and right here at the end a little little hole there that's where you're gonna plug this in Now I'm not sure. 
Um, okay, there is a red light on the uh, the uh, on the plug-in down there where we plugged it in. So I don't know. Yeah, that's probably going to change to green when when it's fully charged. See, but it's not because when I have it plugged in, it's red. It says about four hours, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to let this charge up for four hours. Then we'll take it outside and we'll. That's 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 nice that um, you know you can use these sanding sanding discs as well for smaller areas. Uh, I do like that. So, like I said, the link for this product will be in the description below and to their website because they have an awesome website. It's amazing. They have all kinds of tools and equipment you may be interested in. So like I said, the links for those will be down in the description. I'll see you guys in four hours. I need to charge this battery too. Well, I do have another battery for it. But, um, so I, one quit working, which was a Sony battery. Uh, I lost the one Sony battery when my camera fell over and it went in the water. The camera did not, the battery did, however. So I still have three other batteries. I've got a huge battery for this camera that'll last like three hours. Uh, these batteries last a couple hours. They last about two and a half hours um, <clears throat> out of the heat. With the heat, it'll last about an hour, 45 minutes to two hours. That's if you're constantly filming. I haven't charged this, uh, I haven't charged the camera up since uh, the video before this last one. So let's go ahead and get this on the chart, or let's go ahead and let this charge up for about four hours. It's 12.20 right now. And I'll come back with you, and we're going to polish some stuff up, try this thing out. All right, stick around, guys. Okay, guys, we got this all charged up. It says about four hours it took. Um, I still had 35 minutes to go, so it took three and a half hours. Now, there was a little bit of juice, but it was down to one, one light. Now, as you can see on here now, it goes clear up to green. So... And as you can see, it's orbital as well. It doesn't just spin. It spins and rotates and does all that funky stuff. So, I'm going to talk about these. I'm going to try this first, this piece of sandpaper. It says 2,000 on the back. But uh, it feels rougher than 2,000 to me. But that's okay. This is a starter kit, guys. You can really get into uh, different pads, different cutting pads as well as there's hundreds if not thousands there's hundreds of different polishes polish compounds um, that you can use to a um, bunch of trucks going by that you can use um, like I said you got you got your rubbing compounds which is a, is it's a cutting compound uh, like if you got orange peel in your paint job or something like that you'll use that to cut that down um, then you'll go to a polishing and then a waxing. Um, but d just as a rule of thumb, you know, I mean, like this. This here. You got to be careful with this. If you're going to use this on paint, like fiberglass, plastic, you got to be real careful. This will get hot. Um, but it's made to really cut through stuff. They used to use these a lot when they used a lot of lacquer painting. Um... I still use those quite a bit on um, like chrome bumpers and stuff like that and again there's also different different ones of these you can get for cutting and polishing and finishing and there's so much but that's another video you could spend probably 30 30 to 45 minutes just talking about the different um, cutting things you can get your pads and all that and not to mention the, the polishing compounds and buffing compounds and all that. This is a starter kit. Once you get onto it, you'll you'll see what you need to use, and you know you'll get onto it. Um, like like this this is good for cars. It's it's a medium. Uh, I know it looks pink, but it's it's more like um, like a lot of them are really orange. Um, but this this is. This is kind of like the orange, which would be 
uh, medium to light cutting, you know, and this, I like these a lot. Um, these help keep your pads cool because if you stay in one spot too long, you're going to burn a hole in your paint, right? I mean, you can burn right through the uh, clear coat and like the, like the uh, the Corvette's fiberglass. What when I get ready to do that? Uh, all, all we need, all we're waiting on now is tires. We need to we need to get tires and then we can start driving that car. Well, of course, a tag. But I will use like my bigger. My bigger buff. This is 5.7 inches, by the way. We call it six. But um, I would use that like on the hood on bigger spots. And this is going to be super like around the tail lights and around the back and around the top edges when you need to get in smaller spaces. That Corvette does have a a uh, luggage rack on it, so this will fit right in between there. And my other one won't. So this is going to be nice. So what we're going to do, we're just going to try a couple of these out. Like I said, that is in a whole nother video itself. I just kind of want to see how this feels, how it works, different speeds and stuff like that. We're not really, we're not really um, reviewing the pads and and because like I said, that is so much, and there's so much controversy. You, you watch, watch these videos where these guys are doing these pads and stuff, and. Uh, you read the comments and people say no that's wrong and this is wrong it's it's only wrong if you burn through your paint <laughs> if you're really scratching your paint up like like you know you, i'm not gonna go try to polish that thing with this this is sandpaper you know uh but it just it's so controversial and and a lot of guys like different stuff different um they they're set on their pads they're set on on you know do you use wet polishing compound do you use a you know do you use a paste I use pretty much whatever's on sale like I've got some of this stuff from her dad he has a whole bunch of stuff a lot of it's drying up but um this is McGuire's love the smell of this stuff so this is uh, gold class so we're just going to use this just to try this out I got a I got a piece of metal over here we're going to try it out on. I got this piece of copper. We're just going to try to use the sanding, the sanding part on. You know, this is pretty rough around here. That's monkey's cut, not mine. Um, this is my cut here. I used a tubing cutter. Um, so let's just, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you down here. Yeah, I know my shirt's dirty. What I'm doing is, uh, Monkey's mom had to go to the hospital again last night. She fell. They're letting her go here today. We're not sure what time. So I'm making homemade chicken noodle soup for her. So this is all flour you see here. So let's try this. Um, we're going to try the sanding pad. Okay. I've got it on one right now, so. This thing is quiet. It's smooth, okay. Now we're gonna speed this, we're gonna speed this up quite a bit, because it's sanding. So we're on number six now. I don't know if you can see the stuff coming off of it, but. Very nice. It is pretty smooth. Of course, if I was going to polish this whole thing up, I wouldn't use this. Because as you can tell, you know, it's just, this is meant for flat surfaces, but I wanted to give that a shot. And as you can see there, not bad. So I'm going to turn this down. Down to one. I'm going to shut it off. Then I'm going to bring that, uh, it's a trunk. It's a big trunk. You guys have seen it on the back of the vet. Well, most of you have. 
it's metal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to put the foam pad on you can wash these foam things guys like I said there's so many different uh, it's not perfectly straight but all right let me go get that I'll bring it over here and we'll see what it does on that okay so here's the bottom of that trunk now I don't know how well this is going to do because I see some overspray here this has been repainted so you know I don't know how many coats is going to be on it or any anything like that try not to drop that in the dirt I'm just going to put a little bit on here um, I don't know if you can see the rest of that how dirty it is I just uh, I hit it with just this one spot with some uh, Windex window cleaner remember guys you, you don't want to uh, <coughs> you're not going to want to polish something that's already dirty wash it first that, that goes without saying so I'm on about two and a half there I'm going to speed it up. There's four. Like I said, this is not a video about the cutting pads or anything like that. Wow, it's actually smooth. Let's go up to six. And I don't put a lot of pressure on it, guys, just very little. Um, this is just a wax, too. It's not a cutting compound or anything like that. Very nice. I. I I like that. Um, like I said, this is just wax. This is not a polish. So it's not going to be real super shiny. But yeah, um, it feels good. Sounds good. It's quiet. Um, let's see how much light we got on here. It's down one bar. Like I said, I don't think I would use this to try to do a whole car. But this is going to come in really handy for me around different areas on the car like this corvette around the tail lights and stuff like that it's going to be great um yeah i like that um let's go do a spot on the traverse it's uh it's almost a jet black so we should be able to see something in there and let me see if i got a polish a polish and we'll see what it does on a little spot of the hood of the car all right guys I got you on left rear quarter here this is fuel tank here couldn't get you on the hood because she just pulled in Bruno had to go get get his uh, beautification done so she just pulled in and uh, so the hood's really hot and now the sun's in there so this is this is nice and cool and dry the car was just washed a couple days ago but I went ahead and wiped it off with um, some uh just windex wiped it off made sure it was dry yeah uh i'm just going to try some of this for now it's supposed to give it a wet high gloss sealant glaze it says two ounces of this per car so apparently it doesn't take much so i'm just going to put a little just a little drop on the uh on the pad here this is a liquid there you go all right now i'm gonna this is how i start wow this goes a long way and then i'm gonna i'm gonna put it on one turn it on This is a wipe on wipe off so what I'm going to do 
Because I'm going to put this on. And you let it dry to a haze. And then I'm going to go get my other... Um, let's take it up a little bit. Let's go about two and a half. There we go. So now I'm going to go get my other sponge. And I'm going to put it on here. And we'll take that off. Stick around. Yeah, it's still, still got a green light on it there. Sorry. There it is. Green light. Okay, now, let me go get, let me go get my other pad, and we'll run it over there, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I've got this one on here now. Now I'm going to speed it up a little bit more. Let's go to four. Take it up. Let's go to six. Nice. It's looking good. Now after I do this, I still run a microfiber cloth over this and just get any that you may have missed. This is nice. Kind of like a palm sander, like an orbital sander. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this for a minute and then I'll go get me a, a nice cloth. I don't know if I have any clean microfiber cloths, but I'm gonna go get a nice soft cloth and we're gonna wipe this off. So stick around, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Whoops, but there's a little, there's a little scuff right here. Right there. Okay, so let's just see if this thing We'll take that off. I'm not using the rubbing compound. I'm just using that polish that I just showed you. gone it's gone okay so that's good to know now I'm gonna wipe that off I got a little towel in here and we'll check this out and see if see if uh, it made any difference okay guys boy that will sure help a lot nice shine and it's hard for the camera to pick it up but those what looks like little white particles that's not because it's dirty that's um the uh metallic in the paint so yeah i think that's going to be see like my big my big buffer you know i don't want to get on here and stuff and i can use that little this one's going to be fine for in little areas like this around here you can buff headlights, taillights with this thing. But like I said, that's another video, but as far as the tool is concerned, okay, right there, you can see a difference. Hopefully, I think. I know it's a black car, but. Yeah, right in here. Right in there. It's a difference. Okay, let me buff that. And there it is, it's all gone. Every time I see this line, I'm thinking, there's a dent or the paint's cracking um, but that's that's part of the vehicle <laughs> I wish they wouldn't do that because it really tricks me but anyway yeah this is this gonna be this is gonna be nice um, I like it there's that towel I was using so yeah let me get this stuff picked up I'll come back with my final thoughts okay guys so 
my final thoughts so far. Uh, it's quiet. It's comfortable. It doesn't seem to be underpowered for smaller stuff. Like I said, I don't know how long the battery's going to last. Um, I don't think I would try it on like a whole car, but it'll definitely be used uh, on the cars. Like I said, I'll take my bigger one, do roofs and trunk lids and hoods, door panels and stuff like that, and this will get around into the smaller places. Man, I, I have really needed one of these. Um, it, like I said, it seems like it's got enough power to do what it's supposed to do. Uh, it charged up faster than what it said, which, you know, depends on how far you run it down. If it was clear dead, my guess would be it'd be about four hours to charge it. Um, the pads that come with it, they're okay. Uh, like I said, there's so many different pads you can get which I'll buy different pads for different applications. Like I said, when I when I start doing some more restore videos, uh, restoring stuff, this thing's going to come in very handy. And uh, it is comfortable. Like I said, it's quiet, comfortable. Um, there is some vibration to it, but that's to be expected. And it's not, it doesn't make my hand go numb. I buffed on that for a little bit, five or ten minutes. Um, my hand didn't go numb which is great for me because my hands always numb anyway um, it's not heavy it is very lightweight um, and they give you plenty of stuff to get started with and then you can go from there so yeah guys uh, I just want to say I will give that a two thumbs up as of right now I will give it a five out of five stars um, so like I said I hope I pronounce her name right Saker S-A-K-E-R um, again links in the description below and i really appreciate them sending me these items to try out and i would love to try out more and see what else they've got available um like i said i'm i'm a gearhead and i do a lot of restore videos i work on a lot of things and these kind of things are like the grease gun thing that that's for me that's that that was a godsend because um it really it's it's really helped me out a lot um this thing is going to be it's going to be great like i said longevity i'll have to get back with you you know like i'll do a six month review uh a follow-up review to let you know how it's doing right now like i said two thumbs up and five stars and i really appreciate the company for sending that to me s-a-k-e-r saker again links in the description below i gotta get something to eat <laughs> and uh, i appreciate you guys watching so please go check them out if, you, if you're in need of some tools like this yeah so far they struck it out of the ballpark again so very good saker uh and thanks for sending me these items to try out i appreciate it and with that being said i'm gonna say shea bear the myth the man of legend I'm gone for now y'all stay safe be cool and take care all right guys so we'll see you in the next one bye bye